Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Clear Your Path to New Beginnings with me, your host, Tori Sachs. Today's episode is all about peppermint essential oil, um, because we here in the Northern Hemisphere have just, well, not just, like, it's been a couple weeks now, we've entered into the summer season. But honestly, this is a fantastic essential oil. It's one that I use all year round. People know that I smell sometimes like peppermint. It's like I carry it in my purse, even on walks. Like when I go for a quick walk in the morning, I always have peppermint essential oil on me because I just never know when I'm gonna need it. So today I just really, because we're in summer now, um, I'm wearing red to pay homage to summer, but because we're now in summer, I really wanted to give you like some quick hits and tips and tricks on what I do and how I use peppermint um, essential oil, not only in sessions, but in my personal life. And I've been doing this for years. Um, so I wanna remind you uh, that I am a Reiki practitioner. I also am a crystal healer and I import extra virgin olive oil from Extremadura, Spain. The other thing I wanna do is remind you to check out my website, subscribe to my email so that you can stay updated on all the things. And if you're interested in this or anything I talked about, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm someone that loves to educate and talk to people. So reach out, maybe a session might be good for you or maybe some products that I have, or maybe you're just like curious about some things. So let's get started. So like I said, peppermint is, um, I love a peppermint essential oil. And if you're like, okay, Tori, but that's a little too strong for me. Um, you could also work with spearmint. So why I love peppermint? Well, first off, I also love peppermint tea. It's really detoxing. So it helps you with the detoxing process. But peppermint, um, I love it because it helps it's very cooling and for me it's very soothing um, so one way that I use and I've been using peppermint essential oil especially if we talk about summer the heat it just being a lot is I love so I lived in Spain before I moved back to the States and a lot of times we didn't have air conditioning so um, and I lived like I lived in Sevilla in the south and I also lived in Salamanca and, and some other places. But when I, I remember when I was go to class and it was already like 8.30 something and it was hot, okay? It was hot out and walking to class, I had like a 15 minute walk in front of me. I was like, oh my gosh, it's hot. So what I would do, and this is what I recommend for a lot of people, I would literally, and again, you want to test this because again, we're talking about essential oils. So you want to see like what your reaction is. You might want to use a carrier oil. You might rather work with it in a blend, but I love strictly using peppermint essential oil and I, I don't have a, an issue with it. So like I work with it in that way, but I love to rub peppermint like with the rollerball. I love to rub peppermint essential oil like behind my neck or anywhere where I feel overheated because it instantly like brings this like cooling energy on you. And it's like not as intense as like if you put an ice cube on you, but it's like someone blue cooling, cooling um, breath on you. Um, so I love doing that, um, especially in the summer. Other things you can do to help you is it helps with inflammation. So let's say um, I get bug bites all the time. Mosquitoes love me. I don't love them. But anyway, so if you get bitten by anything, just rub some peppermint essential oil on you and you won't feel like so compelled to actually itch yourself and you'll feel so much better. You won't feel like this internal heat happening like in your system, like, oh, I have to itch. I have to itch because if you put it on there, it will just cool it down and it will feel so much better. So I love working with it in that way to help with bug bites of any kind. Um, I also, like I said, inflammation in the body. So let's say like I ate something and it didn't feel right and my stomach is a little upset. I love rubbing the essential oil over the navel and my stomach. 
um, if there's a smell that's just so overbearing, like I can't take it. I remember I was, I think I was in Las Vegas and there was some cigar smoke or something. And it was just too much for me. Or there was just some other smell that was just really unpleasant. I put a little peppermint essential oil under my nose and I instantly felt better. I was like, okay, yes, I can, this smells a lot more pleasant and I'm not feeling like the smell isn't so overbearing. Same thing with nausea. If you're feeling nauseous, putting a little bit under the nose can really help you. It just, you feel so much better. Um, my other reason why I carry this on me all the time is um, headaches. So headaches, people with migraines, I love to put, like with the rollerball, just put a little bit of peppermint essential oil on the forehead and it, and it like starts releasing that tension releasing like that heaviness in um the head other places you could put peppermint essential oil are on the bottoms of the feet and that's because they're really it's really soothing um but also because i don't know if you knew this the bottoms of your feet are a big absorption point so like a lot of times under the tongue or the bottoms of your feet are the fastest way or even like under the armpits are the fastest way that we absorb things so um, with that, you've now got, learned a little bit more about peppermint essential oil, how I like to work with, how you can experiment working with and seeing if you feel better, but also staying calmer and cool during this summer season. And with that, um, I leave you again, if you wanna learn more, check things out, um, go to my website. It's www.torysacks.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my content um, and videos and newsletters. Um, the other thing I will say is if you have been feeling overheated and you just feel like you need a little bit of help, feel free to reach out for a crystal healing. We can work with certain crystals to help cleanse and clear and cool you down but also um, a Reiki session. So um, reach out, see what works for you. I'd love to be able to help you um, and clear your path to new beginnings. And with that, I wish you a fantastic, cool summer season.